you ever remember reading the story of Noah's Ark and thinking, two of every animal? Really? Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? I just decided to top that and try one of every animal. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. No wonder my sexual reproduction wasn't doing anything. Okay, it's fine. You know what? Leggy fish, it's time for you to walk on land. Make it happen. He's beautiful. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, come on. That's it? It looks like a Muppet that got microwaved. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Cell to Singularity, a game where we've managed to transform Earth from an uninhabitable molten dust ball in space to a planet with its own moon, an atmosphere, an ocean, and life. The very first living cells have now evolved to create sponges and jellyfish. Not the most exciting life, okay? I'll, I'll admit, but today that's gonna change. I have a crap load of entropy to spend, so we should be able to fly through some evolving today. But my only problem now is I don't know what I should be focusing on. Like, I don't know how the game works. In my mind, I want to create like dinosaurs and primitive people, and future people, you know, stuff like that. Which means I don't really care about asexual reproduction or filter feeding or nidocytes or flatworms or radial symmetry. None of that has anything to do with those creatures. But at the same time, I don't know if we need to create like a whole world, like a realistic world. Do we need a food chain? Do we need a bunch of little creatures for the big creature to survive? I know that we're gonna need muscles, right? Tissue and animal bodies that enable them to move. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then I can evolve the ability to swim. Jellyfish are now 50% more efficient. The simple act of swimming gave many organisms the ability to move from one location to another for the first time. All right, we now have swimming jellyfish. I'm not sure what they were doing beforehand. <laughs> we can get the nervous system. Jellyfish are now 100% more efficient. A system of cells that send stimuli through the body in the form of electrical impulses. And then that should allow us to not reach anything. Do I, I do have tissues, I have muscles, I have nervous systems, but it didn't give me whatever this is. Weird. Now that I think to look for it, there are a whole bunch of paths down here that we weren't able to explore. Like some of them I didn't bother with, right? Like viruses, I guess we can get that now. A biological agent that replicates within other cells. Surprisingly, if it weren't for the virus's ability to infiltrate the DNA of organisms, humans may not even exist. I'm happy I bothered to read that. <laughs> because if we went forward in time and I couldn't get humans because I didn't evolve the virus, I would've been pissed. So is that gonna open something up down here? I'm just gonna assume that we're not screwed out of animals yet. I guess if I have nearly 10 million entropy, I could probably afford to not be stingy with it, right? We can afford to buy a little asexual reproduction even if we don't bother using it. Similar to mitosis, asexual reproduction is the process where an entire organism is produced from a single parent. So one parent splits into two. It'll make it so that my taps are stronger. I'm really curious though, if it's gonna make it so that my creatures multiply. Right, because we have one jellyfish and one sponge. And if I come back here and find a hundred sponges, I would actually be kind of pumped. <laughs> I would love to see my world multiply like that. We could also get some sexual reproduction. Entropy tap gains 1% of your idle entropy per second. Ooh, an extremely long method, <laughs> that's what she said, of multiplication involving both meiosis and mitosis. I'll take it. Give me all the banging I can get. So we've made our jellyfish muscular, they can swim, they can bang, and apparently we're gonna arm them with nidocytes? 100% more efficient jellyfish again, one of the first organic weapons. They are explosive cells that fire out a toxic harpoon for self-defense and prey capture, and you're gonna wanna pee on them if you get hurt. <laughs> I guess? Radial symmetry? Organisms that can be divided into identical pieces. The symmetry paves the way for organs such as the mammalian brain. That actually seems very important. Okay, good. Flatworms. Oh, he's got a cute little face. The protovertebrate. The first organism with bilateral symmetry, which formed the beginnings of the brain and the internal organs. Yes. 
Ooh, what did we do? Oh, we got a... <laughs> He's so derpy. Oh my god, I love you. Yes, go be with your new friends. Watch out for that one. I made him stingy and strong and willing to bang. I'm sorry for that. But that opened up new stuff, right? Now it's starting to make sense, right? The nervous system was only part of the puzzle. We also needed to get bilateral symmetry, an organism with identical left and right sides, which means double the sensing organs, as well as a head and tail. And if we unlock that, now we're starting to get some familiar looking things. Okay, I think I probably want a spine before I get a heart. <laughs> Not really sure if I'm playing God or serial murderer, but you know what? What's the difference? It's really weird that we haven't evolved plants yet. But you would imagine that they would have been one of the very first things around, especially because they're the ones that harness all of the sun's energy for every other living thing on the planet to use. But most things, okay? There's always some damn exception, but point is, we haven't seen them in the evolutionary tree and our planet is blue and brown. So I don't know if that's gonna change or if we're gonna see any global changes, right? Everything right now is either squishy and stupid and floating around in the ocean or cellular. But I'm really curious if we're gonna be able to further terraform the planet or move to the moon or something like that. I have no idea. I guess if we're gonna do that, we are gonna need uh, vertebrae. Vertebrae protect the spinal cord and is literally the backbone of human evolution. <laughs> That's a good start. Ooh, we can get ourselves some fishies. I think fish probably want a heart though. This is probably a mammalian heart. The beginnings of a circulatory system, the heart is an organ dedicated to pumping blood through an organism. I'll take it, I'll take two. A bundle of nerve fibers that run down an animal's body, a simple version of a nervous system. That's the nerve cord, okay, good enough. And you know what, I'll take a fish. Just fish in general, with fins to maneuver, the ancient seas fish evolved the traits that would make them the apex predator of the sea. Yeah, we'll see about that, okay? My jellyfish is very stingy and upset. You stay away from him and stay away from Sammy the Sponge, okay? He's my best friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. That fish nearly cost me two million entropy. Is it a solid gold fish? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is gonna take forever. I get him a jaw or I could get lungs. I probably want lungs, right? That seems more important. A gas-filled bladder that came from an outgrowth of the gut. I didn't know that, that's pretty interesting. Lungs would give tetrapods the means to function on land. I'll take it. I wanna get to land. We can move to land, but it's hiding how much it costs. Excuse me, lungs. I, I kind of need to know what I'm investing in here. Oh, 6.6 .6 million, of course. And now comes that point in the game that I tend not to show you guys, where I just sit here clicking on the planet, making all of its little inhabitants, all the fishes and the sponges and the jellyfishes, collect me all my entropy. Right now when I click, I get 121 entropy. But if I invest in cocoons of all things, I'll get an extra 125, it'll double my clicks? Fertilized eggs are encased in a cocoon within a flatworm's body. The cocoon is released into the ocean waters. The cocoon provides nourishment to the egg, which will develop and later hatch. Flatworms are hermaphroditic, meaning they have both male and female reproductive components. Again, I didn't know that, that's kind of cool. Okay, well I, I clearly need to do that, because that is just gonna make my life so much easier. I could even get fish eggs if I really wanted to. 1% of your idle entropy per second. So I'm getting about 7,000, 1% of that would be another 70 per click. That doesn't sound quite as good. Sorry, fishes. It's so funny because once again, I went into this episode thinking, it's been like three or four days since I played. I have millions and things are only costing hundreds. So I should be able to just fly through this episode. I'll be able to buy so much stuff. I might even finish the game, who knows? No, no, not even clones. We are gonna get the tetrapod, the first colonizers. Tetrapods refer to animals that grew legs and adapted on land. I want legs, give me them legs. The first animals emerge from the ocean and start living on dry land. We gonna get to see that? I gotta buy a tetrapod? It costs 73 million? <laughs> Look at that stupid face. That's not worth 73 million anything. What is happening to the planet right now? 
<laughs> it's like stuck in the middle of a Pokemon evolution and spinning really, really fast. Oh, that's what this does. I boosted for a couple of hours so that my clicks are worth more using my Darwinium and it turns out it sped up time? Yeah, I can do that. I'm not only the master of creation, but also space and time and fish eggs. Yeah, I want fish eggs. Self-contained life support systems in wet environments. Sure, why not? Make my click stronger. Why don't we also get pigment spot? With flatworms, a primitive eye allows organisms to sense light from dark. So it's not an eye in the way that we know it, but it's just a couple of cells that can tell the difference between light and dark. Yeah, okay, that'll come in handy. So now we have the perfect flatworm. We have pretty much the perfect fish as soon as we get this jaw underway and we're getting more per second. All right, this is helpful, kind of. Oh, we have land. Land looks really weird right now. You see what I mean? No plants. <laughs> Planet is looking a little crappy. As I'm sitting here clicking for like 10 to 15 minutes at a time, I noticed the attention to detail in this game that I just had to point out. Like you'll notice here with all the cells and the viruses and the DNA and the amino acids and the primordial soup, the background is very soupy. But then as we evolved and we got sponges and jellyfish and flatworms, it turns into an ocean. And as we continue to evolve and we aim for land, it turns into dirt. I really like that. That's very clever. So much so that I'm going to celebrate by buying a jaw. Jaws made respiration more efficient, offering an evolutionary advantage. Sounds good to me. Fish are now 50% more efficient. I like that you can exactly quantify the efficiency of a jaw to a fish. Ocean crew, I just had an epiphany, and I don't know if this is going to be a massive mistake, but I'm going to invest in you guys, and I'm going to invest heavily because I just realized that I'm getting about 25,000 per second, but if I bought a second fish, I would get another 15,000 per second. I would nearly double, kind of, okay? We'll, we'll roughly estimate for the fish's sake. So if I just buy a whole bunch of fish, this should go a whole lot faster, right? <laughs> How are we looking? Yeah, look at that. And you guys sexually reproduce. I bought you sexual reproduction. I better see a third fish get to banging. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but I somehow screwed up a clicker game. Like, I, I don't, actually, no, I do understand. Because I thought that a planet only needed four creatures to be sufficient. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? I went ahead and got like 50 of everything. Every cell, DNA, amino acid, all the creatures. And it unlocked all of this cool stuff that we missed. All of these branched paths that I couldn't figure out how to get to, like a volcano. The carbon dioxide that volcanoes produced warmed the Earth and was a major catalyst in making Earth habitable. Yeah, that seems really helpful. How about an ozone layer? No wonder we didn't see plants. We didn't have an atmosphere. I said at the beginning of the episode we had an atmosphere because I just assumed, right? A layer in the Earth's stratosphere that protects the planet from ultraviolet radiation. Boom, got it, there we go. How you doing, Earth? I can't tell if you're forming an atmosphere or just spinning. I think it's just going fast. So nothing has changed quite yet. Where are my volcanoes? I spent like a good uh, one one millionth of a second worth of entropy on volcanoes and I'm not seeing them. Do you ever remember reading the story of Noah's Ark and thinking two of every animal? Really? Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? I just decided to top that and try one of every animal. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. No wonder my sexual reproduction wasn't doing anything. Okay, it's fine. You know what? Leggy fish, it's time for you to walk on land. Make it happen. He's beautiful. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, come on. That's it? It looks like a Muppet that got microwaved. The future of all intelligent life in the universe rests in the tiny, deformed hands of this fish lizard. <laughs> like, can we at least buy him a new friend? Yeah, there we go. Right? Now we should be able to have our Adam and Eve moment. Except they kind of look like pencil toppers that got stepped on. 
You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Cell to Singularity, guys. I think we're going to leave these two alone for a little while. Maybe we'll come back to a bit of a lizard infestation and a whole lot of entropy to move forward and evolve some even crazier things. And if you guys want to see that, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video. Let me know. I would love to continue playing this game because some of you guys in the comments have told me, the people who have finished this, that it gets absolutely ridiculous. We're gonna go to humanity, we're gonna go beyond humanity. Nobody spoiled anything, but I am super excited. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. See you.